Hi guys! <laughs> welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something different. So it's about the best affordable vlogging camera. Well, for me. To be honest, this is the first camera I got. But if you want to know the reason, the reasons why this is a must buy if you're buying your first camera for vlogging well keep on watching until the end the main topics i want to share with you today are my favorites it will take a long time to tell you every single bit about dji i am going to tell you both what i love about it and maybe along with the negatives as well of course this is a very 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 late review if you watch our disney sea adventure you'll know that it's the first time we used it and eg was actually <laughs> enjoying filming he can't stop using it <laughs> even when we're just walking and all <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying this. Number one, pocketable. So, like the name suggests. And as you can see, you can easily fit this in your pocket. It's as big as iPhone 6. And it actually reminds me of an inhaler, if you've seen one. <laughs> yeah. Number two, easy smart pole attachment. Here's an example of a simple, I repeat, a simple vlogging setup. Imagine of going somewhere for a day and you have to carry all these so the gorilla pod camera stabilizer and other accessories uh, No, thanks. <laughs> I just stick to this camera and my phone Also, when people ask me how much my camera costs they were shocked and told me that it's expensive But you know, I don't need to buy any other accessories except for the SD card so I think I would save money as well so that's fine <laughs> if it's expensive for them so here's my vlogging setup so you just want to attach the camera on one of my phone and it's done within few seconds so by attaching the camera to a smartphone it gives you a bigger viewfinder and easier access to its control okay. so you actually have to download the app first as you can see there DJI Mimo by attaching the camera to a smartphone you are able to access its advanced functionality like I said earlier it's easier to use however what I dislike about this is that I have to take off my screen protector before I can connect the camera you need to buy maybe another accessory if you want to attach the camera to your phone and leave it while it's filming I'm gonna find an example so here's an example so you could attach something to make it stand by itself because for instance if you want to film a time lapse you don't want to hold the camera and the phone for five to ten minutes maybe I could use oh actually Maybe I could use this. Yeah. Ooh, why not? Actually, yeah. 
Thank goodness. Uh, okay, so I, I guess I could just use what I already own, so I don't need to buy what I just showed you. I've watched reviews as well about the sound quality. Some people dislike it, and I think you can buy a mic, or and I don't know. There's another accessory for its sound, but here's a quick tip: make sure you are holding also pocket correctly when recording, so the audio is in his and at the bottom. Can you see it there? So make sure that you don't cover these two areas so you get a better sound quality. Three, anti-shake effect. Allows you to capture cinematic videos and it removes jitters caused by camera movements. So jitter is where like when you take a video using your phone and you walk and then it shakes or it vibrates so here's an example okay i am running <laughs> okay i am running <laughs> Number 4, 4K 60 frames per second. So 4K resolution means that the picture has 4,000 horizontal pixels and 60 FPS, number of frames per second. And the more frames per second, the more, no, the smoother. <laughs> the video will be i believe not all smartphones can record dslr like videos in 4k resolution and at 60 fps so this camera is a solution for most people who want your everyday video as smooth as it can be plus anti-shake effect means you can make videos like a professional number five transition and music for vlogs you can choose from a couple of transitions with music although i'm not sure if dji are using original music but it makes my vlog look interesting you just press this button here by the way the s there at the top right so i normally use one story at the beginning of my travel vlog so i have a unique introduction about my travel and i'm gonna show you next is an example from our disney adventure now let me show you how easy you could achieve that and again the gimbal this moves on its own so it's doing all the work for you and the outcome will be amazing so, so our model is chopper stamped <laughs> again just press the story at the top right and you can pick one okay let's just use this one so stop okay Then you're not gonna move the camera okay so just press that as you can see it's moving by itself next you can then you can just capture a new object or a different scene Okay, next, maybe do that. Next. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, so here's the preview of what we just did. It's filtered as well. Mm. Oh, it looks very nice, isn't it? And, and you can just cut the DJI at the end. Number six, time motion and hyperlapse. Aside from time lapse, it has motion lapse and hyperlapse. An example of what hyperlapse is. <laughs> So it gives you another interesting clip while you walk from point A to point B. I like using motion lapse every time I vlog, like for instance when we go on a restaurant, when we eat on a restaurant. Yeah, here's another example for that. So there you go if you don't want to spend time on editing your videos so the motion labs hyperlabs are just the two interesting features you can add to your content plus it takes just a few seconds so might as well number seven farmer updates we actually have a new update so before I just mix and watch the stories by cutting and adding whatever I want. But now, at the very end, at the top, you can custom story. Okay. okay. And by the way, yeah, like I said, you can, if you don't like the music, you can just add your own. So I updated mine last week, and it now has some great features aside from Pro there at the top. So before we don't have that. Um, there is also like a beauty effect, I think. And you can now mix the story shots like I said earlier before you can't do that. So that's the new update. I am very impressed and now I can't wait for the future updates. So DJI will keep on updating, adding more awesome features and improvements. So it's truly where to buy so what is this okay so normal let's try that okay i'll actually show you the actual video okay finish and then let's compare okay Oh, <laughs> so here what it look like on oh, no. I think it's more whiter. Lastly, here's what iPhone XX Max and DJI Osmo Pocket looks like side by side. Hi. So I took a photo of our car using my iPhone XX Max at the top and DJI at the bottom. So color-wise, the DJI wins because we have a white car. 
while the iPhone one looks like a yellowish filtered but when it comes to size the iPhone one wins because we have a big like van car that fits seven people and DJI makes it look tiny so it's like it's not true to its size maybe because it's small and all